today's adventure starts at the lake. The mermaid. Ah, Lucy, I do love fishing. Me too, Dad. It's so peaceful. Just what I need to get my nerves back in order. I wonder if we'll see any elves or fairies. Huh? Do we have to talk about weird magical stuff? <laughs> you know it upsets me. But you've seen the elves and fairies too, Dad. I've been thinking about it and I've decided I imagined it all. There are no such things as fairies or elves. <laughs> Hello, Lucy's dad. Ah, an elf in a submarine. Hello, Hello Lucy. Lucy. Hello, Ben and Holly. We're fishing. Uh, yes, we were just having a quiet morning's fishing. Dad, did you see that big fish? It's Big Bad Barry. <coughs> Barry. The fish is called Barry. Yes, the biggest, baddest fish in the lake. Whoa, what a whopper. <coughs> Dad, <coughs> you have to throw him back. Water. He can't breathe. Of course I will. But but just take a photo so I can show my friends. There you go, Barry. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Aha! We've got another fish. Oh, well, this isn't a fish. It's a mirror. Can we keep it, Dad? Yes, it's from the bottom of the lake, so it can't belong to anyone. Cool. OK, well, it's, it's been nice chatting to you, um, little folk. <laughs> but I think it's time to go home. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Do you think the mirror is magic, Dad? I hope not. I've seen enough magic for one day. <laughs> Listen, somebody's crying. <laughs> it's a girl. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing in the lake? I live here. You live in the lake? Yes, I'm a mermaid. <gasps> my name is Oceana. Why were you crying? I've lost my mirror. That must be the mirror Lucy found. And where is this Lucy? She's a big girl. So, she'll probably be on her way to school. Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad. Mermaid's mirror must never be seen by big people. Don't worry. I'm sure Lucy won't show it to anyone. Look, everybody. I found a mirror. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. That's perfect for our show and tell. Come up to the front, Lucy, and show the mirror to the whole class. Ah. My poor mirror. I'll never get it back because I can't walk on land. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get your mirror back. Oh, thank you. Home time, children. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. Lucy. Psst, Lucy. Ben, Holly, what are you doing here? We've come for the mirror. It belongs to a mermaid. A mermaid? Wow. Yes, and she needs her mirror back. Oh, OK. Please tell me this is just a game. Elves and fairies are one thing, but mermaids? Haven't you read about mermaids in books? Yes, but I've also read about dragons and witches, and they're not real either. Yes, yes they, they are. are. We can show you witches and dragons. And loads more if you like. No, no, thanks. I'll take your word for it. So, where is this mermaid? After you left, she got called back home to the bottom of the lake. She'll be having her dinner. Fish, probably. We have to find Oceana and give her mirror back. Right then. Into the submarine. Lucy, would you like to come too? Yes, please. Um, we'd love to join you, but I think we are just a tad too big to fit in your little submarine and... Ah! What's happening to me? Just shrinking you down. <laughs> My turn. Um, will we stay little forever? Oh, no. The spell will wear off in a bit and you'll grow big again. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Prepared to die! 
Dive, dive, dive! It's beautiful! Look, Dad! Yes, it's all very pretty. In fact, I'm beginning to quite enjoy this magical adventure. You see, Dad, the world of elves and fairies is fun. Yes, I don't know why I was so worried about being magically shrunk down. It's amazing to be as small as these sweet little fishes. Not all the fish in the lake are sweet and little. Don't forget the fish you met this morning. Big, bad Barry. As I remember, Barry is about this big. Uh, that was before we were shrunk down, Dad. Now who would be about... That big! Oh, look! It's Barry! Ah! What does he want with us? He wants to eat the submarine. Any boat with me in it, Barry wants to eat. Yum, yum. Hold tight, everyone. I'm going to reverse. Fear reversing. Fear reversing. Fear reversing. Now we go forwards. <laughs> it's no good. Barry's too fast. He's going to eat us. Don't worry, Lucy. We've been in Barry's tummy before. And it was fine. That's good to know. Well, hello, Barry. <laughs> I don't understand. He should have eaten us by now. Maybe he remembers how my dad was nice to him this morning. That's right. You let Barry go. And fish never forget. Or is that elephants? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Barry's saying that as you so kindly let him go this morning, he is your best friend forever. In fact, he now thinks of you as his brother. Lovely. Uh, one tiny problem. In all the excitement of being chased by Barry, we've got lost. <laughs> Barry's saying that he knows where the mermaids live and he'll take us there. That's what his brother wants. His brother? That's you, Dad. Oh, yes. <clears throat> um, Barry, old brother, please lead us to the land of the mermaids. <laughs> Right hole. Look, Barry's found the mermaids. Mermaids love to swim along. Mermaids sing their mermaid song. Mermaids comb their lovely. They sing so beautifully. Wow, a mermaid palace. This must be where Oceana lives. Diving suits on, everybody. Nice, Barry. Ah, uh, we're friends of your brother. Yes, they're with me. Mermaids, mermaids everywhere. Hello. Hello, mermaids. We're looking for Oceana. She's over there, being sad. <laughs> Oceana, we brought your mirror back. Oh, thank you so much. But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. There you go. My mirror. Thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been uh, very interesting meeting you uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Barry. <laughs> suddenly got big again. Will that happen to me and my dad? Yep. And the fun bit is, you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Ooh! I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Try not to grow too much. <laughs> See, there was no need to panic. We had plenty of time. What an adventure! Yes, it was quite amazing. Remember, Lucy's dad, the little kingdom is meant to be secret. You must not tell any of your friends what you saw today. Tell my friends what I saw today. Let me think about that. And then the magical fairies shrank me down to the size of my thumb. I saw singing mermaids, and did I tell you that I now have a fish for a brother? No, I will not be telling anyone. 
what I saw today. Today's adventure starts at the great elf tree. Acorn, Dad. Look, Dad, all the leaves are falling off our tree. It's autumn, Ben. My favourite time of year. Mind you, there'll be leaf-sweeping work to do. Let's get everyone organised. <laughs> Calling all elves! Leaf-sweeping! Right, right on. On. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Elves are best at sweeping leaves. And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> <coughs> oh. Never mind. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Elves are best at sweeping leaves. And what are we? So many leaves, I have to use three magic brooms. Nanny, why do the leaves fall off the trees? Goodness knows. Autumn leaves are so pretty. Oh. They might look pretty to you, Violet, but it just means more work for me. This one looks just like the leaf in Ben's hat. It's an oak leaf. It must be from the elf tree. I don't know why elves have to live in a tree. I don't know why we have to have trees. All autumn. Grumbling again, Nanny. You should be happy. Autumn is here. Yes, Your Majesty. Where are you going, Nanny? I'm returning these leaves. Wait for us, Nanny. Who's the best at sweeping leaves? Hell's the best at sweeping Hello, wise old elf. <laughs> I believe these are your leaves. Oh, thank you, Nanny Plum. Hi, girls. Hi, boys. Such beautiful colours. Look, the leaves in your hats have changed colour too. Oh, so they have. Hmm, interesting. Let's play tag. OK. Tag. You're it. Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> tag. <laughs> Can't catch me. Ooh, look, a birdie. Where? Tag. <laughs> You tricked me! <laughs> Tag! Holly zip! Can't catch me! I'm too fast! <laughs> oh, look! A squirrel! You can't trick me like that! No, Ben. There really is a squirrel. <gasps> a squirrel! Easy now, Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, look. He's picking up an acorn. Sound the acorn alarm, Mr Elf. What's going on? It might be Acorn Day. What's Acorn Day? Not now, Princess Holly. Calling all elves! Acorn Day has begun! Don't panic! Please leave the elf tree immediately! It's probably a false alarm. Yes, hopefully it's just a practice. There he goes! Mrs Elf! Mrs Elf! Hello! Oh! Oh! Don't panic, Mrs Elf! Just hand it back! Get out of there, Mrs Elf. Quickly. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? One day every year the squirrels come and store their acorns in the great elf tree. We call that day Acorn Day. What's so bad about squirrels storing acorns? Yes, they need to store their food for winter. And it's just an acorn. One acorn would be OK. But there are many squirrels and they have many acorns. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop him, wise old elf. It's not your fault, Mrs Elf. There is no stopping them once they've started. What do we do now? Now we wait. You see, after one squirrel has put its acorn in the tree, another will come and copy it. Squirrels are very good at copying. 
Acorn Day. When do the squirrels arrive? Oh, have I missed all the fun? The squirrels have filled the elf tree with acorns, Daddy. Ah, yes. Very clever animals, those squirrels. They're a menace. Well, if you're going to live in an oak tree with little windows, you might as well put up a sign saying, store your acorns here. <laughs> well, if I've missed the squirrels, I might as well go home. Goodbye. Happy Acorn Day. Happy Acorn Day. Wise old elf, why don't you just move the acorns somewhere else? Squirrels won't let anyone move their acorns. Watch. <laughs> What are you going to do now? Now we're going to move the acorns out of the tree. But you said you couldn't move the acorns. We can't, but we can trick the squirrels into moving the acorns for us. How? Wait here, you'll see. Oh, <laughs> it's very clever. Is it really clever? No, it's stupid, but funny. Ta-da! Here we are. Squeak! Uh, why is the wise old elf dressed as a squirrel? Because squirrels copy other squirrels. Now, if I move an acorn, all the other squirrels will copy me and move their acorns too. But don't the squirrels need to store their acorns for the winter? Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. That's why I'll lead them to the dry, hollow log on the top of the big hill. Your costume looks very heavy. Uh, yes, but it's perfectly balanced by the tail. Ready for checks? Ready! Tail. Check. Acorn. Check. Squirrels watching? Check. Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> <sighs> Squeak! Ah, ah, ah. Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh, oh, oh. Squeak! Wise old elf! The, the squirrels, squirrels are coming! Uh, uh, squeak! Squeak! Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, oh, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. An acorn? How charming! Your Majesty! Throw the acorn away! A talking squirrel! Throw the acorn away, Your Majesty! Ah, wise old elf! Where did you come from? The acorn, Your Majesty! It's dangerous! Nonsense! How can an acorn be dangerous? <laughs> this lovely acorn isn't dangerous! Two acorns! It must be my lucky day! Yeah! Was that supposed to happen? Well, not exactly. But the castle is a great place to store acorns for the winter. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Happy acorn day, Daddy! You didn't miss it after all. Oh. How am I going to get rid of all these acorns? Uh, you will need this squirrel costume. What? How does that work? You wear the costume and the squirrels copy you. I see. OK, on with the costume, Nanny. Off you go. Chop, chop. Uh, eh? <laughs> 
Today's adventure starts at the magic bus stop. <laughs> Daisy and Poppy go to the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's playgroup outing. Uh, Mrs Fotheringill, are you sure it's a good idea taking the toddlers on an outing? They can be quite a handful. <laughs> <laughs> the little darlings do have high spirits, but this time I'm not going to let them get the better of me. That's the spirit, Mrs. Fotheringill. She's doomed. Let's check all the toddlers are here. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> uh, Daisy and Poppy have promised to be as good as gold today. Not that that means very much. I'm sure if Daisy and Poppy say they will be good, they will be. Good as gold. <laughs> Nettle Elf. Ouch! She stung Mrs. Fotheringill with her nettle. Raspberry Fairy? <laughs> My little sister. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, Tarquin. <laughs> Tarquin like Fotheringill. Tarquin is a monster. Remember last time when the toddlers made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear? Yes. All they found was her shoes. <laughs> Now, for today's outing, we're going on a trip to the museum. The big museum? But that's full of big people. Yes, but the museum has so many interesting things for the toddlers to look at. Are you going to take away their wands, Mrs. Fotheringill? No, Holly. If you trust a child, they will repay your trust. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a catastrophe. What's a catastrophe, Daddy? What this is going to be. Oh, look! Here comes the magic bus. All aboard! Come on, everyone. Hold tight. Go up. Next up, the big museum. Now, as you know, there will be big people at the museum. And we don't want to be seen by big people, do we? No! So what should you do if a big person sees you? Turn them into a frog. No, no, no. If a big person sees you, just pretend to be a toy, like this. I'm a toy. I'm a toy. Last stop, big museum. Everybody off. Oh. Oh. Keep together. In we go. Wow, these stairs are big. Well, this museum is built for big people. Follow me, everyone, and try not to be seen. Ah! Whoa! Look, Mum, a tiny little person. I'm a toy! I'm a toy! It's a toy. Some poor child must have lost it. Just put it over there so they can find it again. OK, Mum. Phew! That was close. Yes, Ben, but it shows the plan works. If you're seen, just pretend to be a toy. I still think turning them into frogs is simpler. In the big museum, we can get an idea of how wonderful it was in the past. This first room is about the Stone Age. Ooh. A long time ago, the big people lived in caves. These are models of how the cave people must have looked. There's a button to press. Did the cave people have electric light bulbs? No, that's to show how the campfire would have looked when it was lit. Here's another button. <laughs> they move. Ooh. You see, King Thistle, the toddlers are being as good as gold. Good as gold. <laughs> it's actually going quite well. The toddlers haven't even made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear yet. Stone Age times. Close your eyes and imagine what it must have been like. <laughs> I have always wanted to know what it would be like to live in the Stone Age. Abracadabra! <laughs> oh dear, I suppose it was never going to last. All they've left is her shoes. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent Mrs. Fotheringill? Stone Age! <gasps> 
They've sent Mrs. Fotheringale back to the Stone Age. That was a very naughty thing to do. Bring Mrs. Fotheringale back right now. <sighs> OK. Oh! On second thoughts, you don't want to know what it was like to live in the Stone Age. Oh, my shoes! It's good to have them back. Right. Next room, Ancient Egypt. Ooh. Look, here's a model showing how a pyramid was built. It's quite small. Were the ancient Egyptians the size of elves and fairies? No, the ancient Egyptians were big people. And the pyramids are huge. But they wouldn't be able to fit a full-sized pyramid into the museum. Big. That's right, Daisy. Think how big a real pyramid would be. Here we go again. Use your imagination. Big. Ah, no, stop, stop it. My turn. What's going on here? Big people are coming. What's in there? Everyone, pretend to be toys. And what are these little toys doing here? Hello. Uh, hello? Frog time. <laughs> well done, Tarquin. Like they always say, when things are not going quite right, turn them into a frog. That doesn't even rhyme. And turning people into frogs is not a good way to do things. Why not? He'll turn back to a person in a moment and he won't remember a thing. We'd better get out of here before he turns back again. Yes, on with the tour. Oh, my goodness, that was all a bit of an adventure. What we need now is something a little less dangerous. Next room, the Vikings. Less dangerous? Vikings? People think the Vikings just ran around shouting. But really, they were gentle people who farmed and played music. If only there were Vikings around today, I'd love to know what they'd say to us. <laughs> she never learns. Abracadabra! <laughs> Interesting fact about Vikings, all they ate was Spam. I don't think that is correct. It's true! Vikings ate Spam. It was on the telly. Uh, Nanny, what happens when the frogs turn back into Vikings? They'll be very confused and maybe a tiny bit annoyed. Right, let's make sure we're not around when that happens. Wow, look at all those frogs. And what's this? Sorry about this, but I'm going to have to turn you all into frogs. Just for a bit. Eh? Frog time! <laughs> Nanny, why are there still bangs going on in the other rooms? Well, it was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back too. Right. I think this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out of here. Children, back on the bus. Next stop, the Little Kingdom. Last stop. Everybody off. Oh. Well, all in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the museum wasn't destroyed. <laughs> Good girl. You see? All you have to do is trust the little darlings and they will repay your trust. She's really in a world of her own. She never learns. And next time, I thought we could visit a... Next time? Yes, we'll visit a big castle. You know, I've always wanted to live in the times of knights in armour. Abracadabra! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs>
Let's bring her back. Abracadabra. On second thoughts, I never want to live in the time of knights in armor. I think the safest, nicest time is right here and now. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the lake. The elf submarine. Your Majesty, may I present the Elf Factory's latest toy, the Elf Submarine. Ah, yes. Jolly good. Does it float? Does it float? Of course it floats. Allow us to demonstrate. We carefully chose this day to test the submarine, as there are no other boats on the lake. Hello, me hearties! It's red! The Elf Pirate! Yo-ho-ho! -ho! Land ahoy! Um, should the ship be leaning like that? Maybe it's the weight of all that treasure. She's sinking! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! <laughs> Curses! Me ship and me treasure gone down to the bottom of the sea. How sad. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a perfect day to test the submarine with no boats on the lake. But what about Mr. Redbeard's treasure? Yes, me treasure! How will I get it back? If only we had some way of sailing underwater to look for it. Ah, if only. Anyway, back to my submarine. There's the a... submarine! We can use the submarine! Clever Ben! Hang on! The elf submarine is a toy! It's not for going on adventures. Oh, so it can't go underwater? Yes, it can. It'll probably sink like a stone. No, it will not. Good. That's that sorted. Captain Redbeard, our submarine is at your service. Thank you, Your Majesty. But... But I'll be needing a crew. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Can I come? And me. I'd better come too. If there's any trouble, I can use magic to help us. No, Nanny Palum. There will be no magic on the elf submarine. Because we're elves. And elves don't do magic. Yes, we know. Ah, it's an eye. Polly, my faithful friend, you'll have to wait here. <laughs> Mr. Elf, steer the submarine. Aye, aye. Ben and Holly, wind up the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. What shall I do? Why, you just sit there and look pretty, my little mermaid. Oof. I know this lake. I've sailed on it often. Are you a sailor? I was a sailor. I'm not anymore. Why not? Big Bad Barry. Who's Big Bad Barry? Only the biggest, giganticest, most enormous fish the world has ever seen. He's eaten nine of Dad's boats. You lost nine boats? I thought I was a bad sailor. I'm not a bad sailor. Just unlucky. That big bad Barry is quite big. And bad. Dive, if you please, Mr. Elf. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat. By Neptune, you're right. Well spotted, Ben! Oh, for a moment, I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho oh, ho! Now I can get me treasure back! Let's get it and go. I don't like it down here. I love it. All the fish and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad. Is it Barry? It is. It's Big Bad Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh, dear. He's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! Did you see that? 
He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. What a pong! Where are we? Look! Me ship! There are more boats as well. <gasps> it's Bunty! The boat Big Bad Barry ate last winter. That's my old boat, Trixabel. And there's Fifi! And this Boo Boo! Uh, if all those boats are inside Big Bad Barry... Then we must be inside Big Bad Barry! By all that's wet and fishy, you're right! We're in the belly of the big fish! That explains the smell. Just think, all those years I tried to catch Barry, and now he's caught me. How are we going to get out of here? If we could get Big Bad Barry to open his mouth, we could just sail out. Oh, very clever, Ben. Only, how do we get him to open his mouth? Mm. Maybe it's time to ask for a bit of advice. Can someone answer their phone? It's not my phone. It's not mine either. Oh, it's mine. Hello? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What's that? They've got good news and bad news. What's the good news? They've found the treasure. Hooray! And what's the bad news? They've been swallowed by a giant fish. What? Are they OK? Uh, I'll ask. Is my submarine all right? It's not scratched, is it? Listen, Clever Clogs. We need your help. How can we get Big Bad Barry to open his mouth? Someone needs to talk to the fish. Nanny Plum can speak fish. Ah, Nanny Plum, you must tell the fish a joke and make him laugh. That's an idea. A very stupid idea, but an idea. What's the plan? I'm going to tell Big Bad Barry a joke to make him laugh. What? Utter nonsense. It was the wise old elf's idea. It's brilliant. Everyone back in the sub, get ready to sail! Hmm. What's a good fish joke? I know. <laughs> Did it work? I don't know. He might not get it. <laughs> Something's happening. I think he likes the joke. <laughs> The elf pirate Redbeard and his crew return. It's a triumph! Hooray! Hooray! So you got the treasure? Nope. You got your boat? Nope. So in what way is this trip a triumph, then? Well, we're not inside a big fish. In that case, congratulations! It's a shame the treasure's lost. It's not lost. I know where it is, and no one will ever find it in the belly of Big Bad Barry. That's true. Of course it is, me tasty little fruit tree. <sniffs> oh. Nanny Plum, what was the joke you told Big Bad Barry? It was, where do fish keep their money? We don't know. Where do fish keep their money? In a riverbank. Uh, <sighs> that's not very funny. I know. It's a bit of a rubbish joke, 
But then fish find the silliest things funny. They have very small brains. Where do fish keep their money? Oh, I get it. A riverbank. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the fairy village. Father's Day. <sniffs> Happy Father's Day, Papa. I made you breakfast. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Look at your card. To the nicest Papa in the world. How sweet. And no work for you today. You get the day off. That sounds good. But what shall I do? You can play. Who will I play with? The other daddies, of course. It's Father's Day for every daddy. Morning, Dad. Breakfast. Oh, what a lovely card, Ben. It's a picture of me waving from the elf truck. <gasps> the truck! I've got to make my food deliveries. No, Mr Elf. You've got the day off. But, but... Don't worry. Someone else is doing your deliveries. Oh, really? Who? Food delivery! Come and get it! What? Nanny Plum? Hello, Mr Elf. I'm in charge of your deliveries today. So you just sit back and relax. Sit back and relax with Nanny doing my deliveries. Where's the break? Oops! Oh, dear. Morning time! Hey, what? Happy Father's Day, Daddy! Ah, breakfast in bed. If only every day could start like this. But every day does start like this. You always have breakfast in bed. Ah, yes. Read your card, Daddy. You're the best Daddy in the universe. <laughs> and today, you can do whatever you like. Yes, you're not the king today. You're just my Daddy. Marvellous. Now, make sure Mrs Fig's egg is nice and fresh. And don't forget the orange for Mrs Peach. Right, a peach for Mrs Orange. No, an orange for Mrs Peach. Yes, yes, whatever. Hey, hey, you forgot the egg. Hello there. It's the king. Hooray! Oh, oh I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble daddy, like you lot. And today, all the daddies have to play. Yes, here's a ball. Oh, oh. To you, Dad. To you, Your Majesty. To you. Oops. Yeah! It's Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Which scurvy scoundrel will be shooting cannonballs at me now? Uh, that would be me. Oh, begging your pardon, King Thistle. That's quite all right. I'm just a normal daddy today. All the daddies have the day off. Because it's Father's Day. Ah, I know. And that's why I brought this here card. Hello, Nigel. Hello, Fred. Seen Dad today. Hello. I've come to join in the fun. I'm sorry, wise old elf, but you have to be a daddy to have the day off. Actually, Holly, I am a daddy. I have three sons. Three sons? Yes, but I don't talk about it much. It's a bit uh, embarrassing. My eldest boy ran off to sea to make his fortune. He has a big red beard and he's a, a pirate. Happy Father's Day, Dad! Thank you, son. And from me too, Dad. Thank you. Redbeard, you never said the wise old elf was your dad. Well, pirates don't like to admit they have mummies and daddies. True, but they all do. And that's a fact. Captain Squid! Aha! What are you doing here, you scurvy old rogue? I'm keeping an eye on you, you blackguard, so you don't steal my treasure. Scallywag! Scoundrel! Ha ha! Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you, son. What? Captain Squid is your son, too? That's, that's right! right. Oh. Two of my son's pirates. But at least I have one son who's sensible. Guess what, Dad? I have decided to be a Viking. Ha-ha! Oh. <laughs> Food 
egg delivery. Oh, good. I ordered an egg. I've got an egg, but I've got an orange. Have you brought my orange? Sorry, Mrs Peach. Just out of oranges. Here's some broccoli instead. I don't like broccoli. Oh, but it's good for you. This is a lettuce, but I ordered a cabbage. Oh, for goodness sake. You're all so grumpy. We're only grumpy because you muddled our delivery. It's not like when Mr Elf does it. Oh, here. You can help yourselves. Food delivery. Bye. To you, Ben. To you, Dad. Let's see how high I can kick the ball. Ah! Ben? Hello, Mum. Did you kick this ball? Um... No, it was, uh, me. Oh, dear. This Father's Day game has got a bit silly, hasn't it? It's not as bad as last Mother's Day. Yes, you mummies know how to party. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's Mother's Day. <laughs> yes, maybe we did go a bit wild. Come on, daddies. Let's play in the meadow. Hooray! Let's play basketball. We'll need two nets. We'll need a referee. dum de dum de dee dee doo Nanny, we need a referee for our game. OK, what's the game? Basketball. Never heard of it. One team has to throw the ball into this net and the other team has to throw the ball into that net. And you can only... OK, OK, I don't need to know all the little details. Let's start. But I haven't finished telling you the rules. Yes, yes. Go on, Ben. Throw it in the net. Goal! Nanny, in basketball, you don't say goal. You say... Yes, yes. I'm awarding you five points. But that's too many. I decide the rules. I'm the referee. Carry on. Remember, Daddy, you mustn't kick the ball. Oh, I see. I'll use magic then. Aha! <laughs> Goal! You can't use magic. It's Father's Day. What has magic got to do with Father's Day? Yellow card for being naughty. But I'm the king. Red card for talking back. Play on! <laughs> to that team. No, no, that's too many points. Oh, this will take forever. Let's make it easier. What if the ball had legs? <laughs> then it could score on its own. Hooray! This is too easy. OK, I'll make it harder. I'll give the next legs too. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Why don't you add some dragons? For good measure. Oh, that's a good idea, wise old elf. Dragons! <laughs> ah, so this is basketball. What a fun game. Well done, wise old elf, for suggesting it. But, but, but... Game over. What's the score, Nanny? What score would you like? Can we have a hundred million? OK, a hundred million points to this team. Hooray! We have a hundred million too. Yes, a hundred million points to that Hooray! team. Oh, that means it's a draw. Hooray! Oh, what a great Father's Day this has been. It'll be hard getting back to my work tomorrow. Yes, it'll be hard getting back to my food deliveries again. Oh, the deliveries. Uh, I'm afraid it all went a bit wrong today. Mrs Peach wanted an orange and Nanny gave her broccoli. And I think I gave Mr Egg a peach. Or was it the other way round? It'll take weeks to sort this out. I'm quite looking forward to it. I really enjoyed Father's Day. It's a shame it's over. There's still a tiny bit of Father's Day left, Papa. I'll read you a bedtime story. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. Ready? Once upon a time... A big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed and he puffed. And then there was a loud knock on the door. Who could that be? said the princess. 
with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, the pirates set sail across the deep blue sea. Does the story have to be about pirates? Not about pirates. What else could the story be about? How about Vikings? Oh, OK. Vikings, then. The Vikings set sail across the deep blue sea. And on the way, they met a pirate! yo -ho -ho! <laughs> It's not bad being a father. Not bad at all. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Visiting the Marigolds. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Do you want to come and play? I'd like to play, Ben, but I can't. We're going to visit King and Queen Marigold. They're a bit snooty. I'm glad I'm not going. I wish I wasn't going. Maybe your mum will let you stay and play with me. Mummy, can I play with Ben today? What a good idea. Hooray! Ben can come too. Oh. That's all right, isn't it, Mr Elf? Oh, yes. Go off and enjoy yourself, Ben. See you later. Bye. Oh, you're coming too, are you? OK. Magic car, drive on. This is fun. A magic car. Yes, it uses fairy dust to make it go. Cool. I want you all on your best behaviour today. Yes, Queen Thistle. King and Queen Marigold's home will be full of very precious things. Horrible, but precious. So you mustn't touch anything. Visiting King and Queen Marigold sounds like hard work. It'll be exhausting. Here we are. King and Queen Marigold's castle. Oh, what a horrible building. Such bad taste. It's beautiful. Cool castle. Hello and welcome. Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend Ben. You've met him before. Of course. The charming little goblin. I'm not a goblin. I'm an elf. Oh, an elf? How exotic. Did you have a pleasant journey? It must be so nice to leave your little kingdom behind for a day. Tell us honestly, what do you think of our castle? Honestly, it looks like a complete... It's very nice. I wish we had a castle like this, Mummy. Oh, before we had it rebuilt in plastic, it was made of stone. Imagine, how primitive. Our castle is made of stone. Ah, but you live in an old-fashioned castle. Mm, it must be very uncomfortable. Not really. Oh, you've brought your ladybird. Ugh. Down, Gaston, down. Oh, that means he likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. Let's go inside. We'll give you the tour. Can Gaston come too? As long as he wipes his feet. Yes, if you could... All wipe your feet. And please don't touch anything. And if you could, try not to breathe too heavily. We've got lots of precious things. <laughs> As you can see, we've turned the idea of the hallway on its head. Ridiculous. Wow! It's all upside down. Amazing! Oh, where's Gaston gone? Well, well, there's Gaston. He's walking on the ceiling. No, Daddy. Gaston's walking on the upside-down floor. Clever Gaston. Hmm, yes, and I see he didn't wipe his feet. Well, well. Nanny, clean it up. I'm not your servant. That's right, Nanny. You're my servant. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, clean it up, Nanny. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Muddy footprints, 
Away you go. Good. Now, where were we? There are 100 rooms in our castle. What do you do with all those rooms? We fill them, my boy, with things. This is our collection of pebbles. Pebbles? Oh, there is nothing quite as wonderful as a well-polished pebble. Oh, indeed. What do they do? They're beautiful. Please don't touch them. We don't want them to get sticky. Children always have sticky hands. No, we don't. Yes, you do. Do you think the pebbles look beautiful, King Thistle? What? Oh, yes. Very, uh, pebbly. This way. Ugh! Green fly. Mm. Good boy, Gaston. He won't be needing dinner now. Oh, I see you found our pet green fly. Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy. Oh, but where is Timmy? Ah. Timmy! 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 Hmm, perhaps he's gone for a walk. Timmy! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Ah, Timmy. <laughs> oh, 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 playing hide and seek, were we? <laughs> now you may find the next room a little chilly. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Yes, this room must be kept well below freezing temperature at all times. All these lovely things are made of ice. They look very beautiful, Queen Marigold. Yes, they're, uh, cool. Please don't touch. Are they made with magic? Oh, no. That would be too easy. They're made from ice that froze over a thousand years ago. Ooh. And hand-carved by Norwegian mining pixies. These sculptures are one of a kind and simply irreplaceable. Ooh, a swan, that's nice. I like swans. Oh, dear. Nanny, what have you done? You've broken the swan's head off. It's all right. I'll magic another one. Abracadabra, make me a bird. Ice thingy. Nanny! That's not a swan. It looks like a hen. Or a duck, maybe. It looks lovely. I like ducks. This way, do keep up. This is our finest and most treasured collection of all antique toys. Amazing. You must play in here all the time. I could play here forever. This monkey is over a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> and this clown is over 200 years old. <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the Elf Factory by someone called the Wise Old Elf. We know the Wise Old Elf. <gasps> you know the Wise Old Elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. It's so 
stopped. I want it to go again. Oh, yes, again, again, again. More, more, more. OK. King and Queen Marigold's castle isn't boring at all. Yes, actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo choo! choo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>